Hey everybody, and welcome to a third tutorial talking about port forwarding. What? I thought you said we're going to talk about events. I th that was the plan. Um, but I got another question asking about port forwarding and how to get the server public um, so other people can join. And um, I was planning on doing this tutorial already, but I was planning on doing it later. But since so many people seem to have problems with it, I want to kind of try to help and show a little bit what to do. The problem with port forwarding tutorials is there are way too many different routers that all look different with different interfaces. Um, so it's very difficult for me to, to show you where to go and where to click. Like all the things I show you in Rust should be exactly the same in your Rust. And there's almost a guarantee that what I'm going to show you is going to look totally different on your end. So that's, that's a little bit annoying. Um, but I'm gonna do my best and also uh, networking and stuff is not my strong suit and I actually got help the first time I set it up uh, from a good friend Chuck um, I'm gonna try to do my best so there should be an annotation and a, um, a time mark in the description where you can click on just where I go into uh, the moment where I set up or show you how to set it up but I want to talk a little bit about networking and what you're doing I don't I'm not going to go too in depth, but I just want to give you kind of understand uh, an understanding of what you are doing. So if you need to fix something or add something, you kind of know what you're doing. So why would you? Or why do you need to port forward? Um, if you don't port forward, you're basically hidden behind your router. Your computer is by and your router are by default not set up to allow connections from the outside, which is kind of a bad thing. Um, there's this. Um, topic on, on port forwarding uh, on how to geek and I'll link it in the description um, and um, you can read it all it's it's a lot of text if you're into it go for it I would recommend it but I'm just gonna use their pictures which are pretty good and kind of give you the small rundown so this is the internet and this is your router or modem and usually nowadays it's uh, two in one so your internet comes through the wall in your router and your router is then its job is to split the internet to uh, several computers or devices whatever and if your computer uh, let's take this one makes a request for a website a file to download whatever it knows where this is coming from so it can kind of go back and forth as long as this is requesting uh, is sending the request because it's nowhere to go it knows where to send this response but if you look here from an external request, so this is, let's say, a, a someone who's trying to connect to your Rust computer, it says sends from his IP address through the internet to your IP address to the router, which is the local, um, this is the, you have an internet IP address or, yeah, and a local IP address. So it goes from the internet to your router, and then it doesn't know what to do with it request and where to send it because it hasn't, in the router we didn't set up the port forwarding and the port forwarding basically tells the router any connection from this port send it to my computer because that's where the server is running or send it to the server computer whatever you want to call it so um, if you correctly set up for every computer what port and what things they need to receive the request will come in with a certain port which is what people are typing into Rust, and it will then automatically check what port needs to send to needs to be sent to what computer. So there's this website called portforward.com, and they have a, uh, some guides. And you see here all the different router uh, uh, manufacturers or brands, whatever. That's why that's what makes it so different because all these have different interfaces and stuff. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna look up your brand um, I'm just gonna click one then close oh, they only have one look up the, uh, the the type and it's gonna promote you their program but just skip through it and it will tell you exactly for that brand and that um, uh, model how to go to uh, how to go about with uh, logging in and uh, where to click to go to the port forwarding section but because for me it looks totally different than uh this one and all these are different brands okay i'm keep repeating myself so for me i have to go to uh have to log in to my browser which i already did uh th sorry log into my um router which i already did um then go to internet 
permit action and go uh, access and then go to port sharing and here you can see this is my computer name and my IP address uh, my local IP address that is and my MAC address here you can see the name that I gave uh, this port forwarding action and here you can see what ports so I'm still using the default server ports so 28015 and if you do that you can actually see it's already here but I'll refresh it the server shows up and when you join it people can actually join so that's what we want so how would you go about setting this up we need to tell like I said the router where um, first of all what device it should be going uh, it should be uh, yeah where, where what the what computer the uh, connection should be going and what ports it should be using or what ports it should be listening for so we're going to add a device and this is a list with all the devices connected once whatever to my um, network and you just choose one I'm gonna choose a random one for now and you it will fill in the local IP address and the MAC address of the computer and then we can for me that's how I do it so I don't know what you have to click I go to new sharing and it gives me another pop-up and it tells me what kind of connection this is well it's a other application and name is Rust server or whatever you want to call it then what protocol do you want to use there's another great uh, thing about portforward.com they have sp uh, specific uh, guides for specific games so I will also link this downstairs this is the one for Rust uh, like in the com uh, comment section and it tells us we need to port forward TCP and UDP and then it says us the tells us the default ports but if you change this of course you fill in the ports that you changed it to um, TCP is for the Archon tool so um, let's say you have uh, an admin on your server because you make it you're making it a public server they can actually use the Archon tool the rusty admin tool and till uh, fill in your internet IP address and it will if it's set, set up correctly it will allow the connection to your uh, the Archon connection to your server and the UDP is so it actually shows up in the uh, server browser list here that's UDP and it shows um, and you can see two ping because it's locally um, and it and so people can connect to it that's the UDP so spoiler alert the TCP didn't work for me so I tried it and I couldn't get the Archon to work um, the website so if I find a fix or find out what I did wrong I'll show you but that's like a side thing for now at least um, so let's fix the UDP so it says we need UDP so we go back to our pop-up we choose UDP and we say 28015 done for me it has a little thing enable sharing yes and then press OK and then it should look look like this so this is my uh, the one I created for my computer and then press OK and it should go green because it's sharing for me at least maybe it looks different on your end and if that's all correct your server should now be visible if you run it of course because mine was always running in the background um, and then go to find game fill in your uh, name here at the bottom and go refresh it should show up and if you click on it and you followed my second tutorial you should have a picture and a description here that you can all check that now because that's also a big thing if you were setting that up you back kind of have to trust that it works if you're uh, if you didn't port forward uh, properly because you cannot check it then so that should be it so that should be a lot easier and a lot shorter tutorial than the other ones we were which were 20 minutes and 30 minutes long which is not the 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 plan from the from the from the beginning but i just think uh, i need to tell everything that i think is important and if it's a little bit longer then yeah that's why we have the little things where you can click on to see a th certain topic so i hope this helped um once again it's kind of hard to help with this but if you have any questions put them down below um but if they are with a different router or something else then there's a big chance i cannot help you with look up the uh, cannot help you with it look up the port forward guides um, 
check that out look at the rust page that i'm linking below see if that helps you and if you're still stuck like i said give me a call and if i can help you i'll help you out um i hope this was useful so next up is going to be the uh the events how to run them how to set them up etc because i think that's a good like i said in the other one a good uh practice to see how certain um uh plugins are meant to work together and have like dependencies of uh, different plugins you have to install for them sometimes you have to install three plugins for one plugin to work and that's kind of a, a good a good test so as always thank you for watching i hope it was helpful i'm out peace <coughs> now i don't have a, a bad throat i can do it easily thanks guys see you later Thank you very much for watching. Click on the left thumbnail for my most recent upload or click on the right for a video that suits you best. As always, have a very nice day. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>